one scotch, one bergamot, one bitter, two chillers, one scotch, one bergamot, one bitter, two chillers, but this is the age of the ones that make you listen well. Howdy folks, Rob Maximum RD and it is actually October 22nd as I am recording this video. You can see it's uh, very fall-like colors just looking outside from our condo balcony, enclosed balcony. and. It looks like it is about, what do we got here, uh, uh, almost 80 Fahrenheit, I guess uh, 25 or so Celsius. And yeah, not, not too bad overall. I'm sure it would be colder if the uh, window, if the windows were open. But uh, being October 22nd, I figured I'd do something I haven't done in a long, long, long time, and that is a beer tasting. Some of you love them, some of you not so much, but uh, either way, it's been a while, and uh, we're going to do a nice beer tasting. Actually, I'll keep that closed. It's too noisy. And hopefully all will go well. I have chosen a beer that I hope will be, uh, will be uh, a good choice for this time of the year. I'll try to stay in front of the camera here. And that is Jumpin' Jack, Jumpin' Jack Pumpkin Ale. I hope you can get a good shot of that. Jumpin' Jack Pumpkin Ale. Okay, I picked this up in the spirit of up call, uh, the upcoming Halloween season. And just to let you know, this is by Tree Brewing. This is located right here where I live, here in beautiful Kelowna, BC, Canada. Uh, it's actually not too far from here. I could walk to it if I wanted to. Uh, let's see the description. Tree Brewing Company takes craft brewing seriously. We brew in small batches using only water, malt, hops, and yeast to produ produce the highest quality award-winning beer. Try our selection of all natural, unpasteurized beers. Sure to satisfy some of the most discriminating craft beer drinkers, drinkers and judges. Drop by the brewery located in beautiful Kelowna, British Columbia. We should do that sometime. <laughs> and we'll show you firsthand how we make great beer. Until then, cheers. So, nice pumpkin ale. It's a strong ale, by the way. Nice uh, 7% alcohol in a 750 milliliter bottle. That's that's my kind of bottle of beer. That's that's a good size bottle of beer right there. All right, so let's try Jumpin' Jack Pumpkin Ale. I just I don't think it's a twist off. Yeah, usually these type aren't twist offs. So let's just pop that open. Alrighty, I'll just show you as I pour this baby. The nice, nice uh, color, nice golden bronze color. A little bit uh, dark. Looks good. I did try a pumpkin ale once before. It was not this one. At least going back through my videos. I did notice another pumpkin ale because I knew when I picked it up, I thought, pumpkin, pumpkin, that sounds familiar. Have I done this one? But no, it was a different pumpkin ale. I'm pretty sure I haven't done this one anyways. Although I may have done another one from Tree Brewing. But uh, there you go. Nice looking beer. Let's see if there's some aroma to it. Oh yeah, definitely. You definitely can sense the pumpkin, or at least what uh, seems to uh, simulate a pumpkin a flavor. There's a fly on the camera now. Perhaps you heard him. You often get trapped here in the uh, in the uh, enclosed balcony. Anyways, 
sorry. He's right by the mic. I don't. I don't. I have no idea what you're hearing at this moment. But uh, stupid fly. Anyways, <laughs> I just let him sit there while I enjoy my first sip of Jumpin' Jack pumpkin ale. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I like it. It's very flavorful. Um, pumpkin, pumpkin. Um, yeah, I guess I would say there's something that resembles pumpkin. I'm, I mean, I'm no expert on pumpkin. I've had pumpkin pie. That's about it, really. <laughs> I haven't really had anything else uh, pumpkin flavored. But, uh, yeah, I guess... I guess the question is, if I were to try this not looking at the label, would I think pumpkin? Not so sure I would. Not so sure I would. It's not exactly... It probably tastes more hoppy um, than pumpkin-y, if that's a word. <laughs> so, I don't know if you've had much experience with pumpkin-flavored um, foods or drinks. Strong ale. Well, that it is. You can definitely tell it's a strong ale. No, preserv no preservatives. Unpasteurized. Limited ed edition. I'm having trouble speaking. I swear this is my first glass here, folks. But, um, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, I don't mind it. It's not, there isn't, there's maybe a little bit of an aftertaste. Um, I probably wouldn't buy it, you know, if it wasn't a limited edition and if I wasn't, you know, in the spirit of um, Halloween, I don't think I would pick it up. And now that I've done this beer tasting, I, I, I don't think I would ever pick up another one of these. Um, I'm not saying it's bad. Uh, with, it's just with all the choices that are available today, it's not something I would go out of my way to get. Uh, a little bit of a pumpkin flavor, a strong uh, hoppy beer flavor with a little, little bit of an aftertaste, but overall... Well, now you're not likely to see it, I guess, if unless you're here in Kelowna, BC. That's uh, probably not the worst thing. Okay, that's it from Tree Brewing Company, Jumpin' Jack Pumpkin Ale Limited Edition. If you feel the need and you see one, pick it up. Um, it's not the worst, it's not the best. I guess if I had to rate it from 1 to 10, I'd give it maybe a 4, I guess. So, there you go. That's it. Rob Maximum RD out. And, uh, <laughs> take it or leave it. Jumpin' Jack Flash Pumpkin Ale. Thanks for watching. It's been long overdue. Yeah, I'll probably have another one coming up within a few days. I have so many other projects on the back burner. Turbo EverDrive I still have to demo and show you guys. I know. Um, I just have a lot of videos to catch up on. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Bye. Stupid fly.